Hey, it's me, Ashley, and we're back with the video three of My Seductive Wife, and this is episodes seven, eight, and nine. Um, if you have not watched my other videos, I'll put a link up here to the playlist if you would like to check it out. Um, what has happened so far? Okay, so our main female, uh, Ajay, she is coming up to the year end of her contract marriage to Yu Hyun. And the day, the last day that their marriage was going to end, he came home. Ajay was drunk. They ended up sleeping together. It was a mistake on her end. He enjoyed it. Kind of blurry lines right there. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyways, um, they decide to extend their contract because his dad's sick, her dad's sick. We come to find out that Ajay, her family, uh, they're kind of assholes, especially her mom. Yu Hyun, we found out they are going to meet his family. And from what it seems, they are also not on uh, good terms or they don't have a very good relationship either. So it seems like they may be each other's, um, I said, I think I said life jackets in the last video, um, because it looks like neither one of them have anybody that they can really rely on or confide in family wise. They both have dysfunctional families. Uh, yeah, that's kind of where we let, uh, ended last time. They were going, they were meeting Yu Hyun's family um, after him being gone for a year. She never went to meet the family, I guess, which it's, he told her she didn't have to. So why would she? So I think I'm not going to read the titles anymore because it kind of just gives away what the whole episode is about. So we're going to start on episode seven. The, t the two of you seem to be on good terms on a for a couple that looks like pieces of broken glass stuck together. Please don't characterize our relationship like that. I love Yu Hyun very much. Although Yu Hyun doesn't seem to love me as much. Hm. That's not true. Grab. I love you more. Squeeze. The seductive wife. My goodness, don't you know that there's a time and a place for things? Tsk. Well, I didn't really find it embarrassing. Glare. Our relationship isn't something to be ashamed of. You've changed a lot since getting married. You used to be so heartless and cold. Pfft. It's all thanks to Ajay. Squeeze. Say Yeon would be upset to hear that. You guys were once so close. If your engagement hadn't been called off, wouldn't Say Yeon be the one in here in her shoes now? I guess your current wife is grateful to be by your side, even if she's just a replacement. Throb. She came into our lives out of nowhere from a camp, a company I'd never heard of. And now she's reached a place she never could have dreamed of. Mom's right. You two are real lovebirds, aren't you? And here I am still single. I'm starting to feel jealous. Hello there. We're finally getting a to meet a year after my little brother's wedding. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Pil Yong Kim. 
He's the god Yu Hyun called an unwelcome intruder. Oh. He told me not to drag out the conversation, since I'd give it give me nothing but a headache. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Grip. Ugh. Ew, why would he do that? Flinch. Pull. Yu Hyun had a private wedding and didn't invite me. Uh, like I said, you accidentally got left off the guest list. Clasp. Accidentally got left off? You're right. I know you did it to screw me over. Pfft. Oh no, I feel like Yu Hyun is about to lose his temper. Quiver. Ah, uh, I just remembered I left my purse in the car, Yu Hyun. Grab. Could you go out with me to get it? Stare. Sure. I heard you paid my father's hospital bills. Pause. I wanted to thank you, but I couldn't bring myself to say the words for some reason. Thank you. The savings account I started when I joined the company will mature next month. I'll earn interest and... My savings account was my last resort. I put it in what little I had. I put in what little I had remaining. After paying for my father's hospital bills and debt and Ian Bohm's tuition... I wanted to have at least some money to my name at the time of the, our divorce, but it, I felt like I could finally breathe a little after Yu Yan took care of my father's hospital bills. I paid off your hospital, your hospital bill because I didn't want to see you struggle over a small amount of money. The moment we walked down the aisle together, I became your guardian. Okay. Touched. My guardian. Though this wasn't intentional, your role has become more important now, so I'd appreciate it if you could think of it of this as compensation. Please don't feel the need to pay me back. It really wasn't much. Just focus on us for the time being. I wonder, I wonder what, what it is I'm feeling right now. Okay. Oh, right. Why did you say those things back there? Huh? In front of that woman. Well, knowing your situation, I couldn't just keep quiet and let her talk to you like that. I mean, I'm grateful that you stuck up for me but you embarrassed her in front of everyone. How are you going to handle the ramifications of that? Then why did you? Why did I play along? Because I had nothing to lose. What? Flustered. What do you mean by ramifications? Like pressure from the in-laws and bullying? I guess you watched a lot of soap operas, Ajay. I wasn't talking about trivial things like that. I wanted to know if you were ready to handle me. Huh? What do you mean by that? You said you loved me. So from now on, you're going to have to show them that you're in love with me. Glance. Blank. 
What does that have to do with anything? There's a saying that goes, fields have eyes and woods have ears. We should use that to our advantage. Wait, grab. We need to pretend we're in love so they'll believe us. So be careful because you have an incredibly sensual body. Is he telling me not to let this become more than a fling? I had no idea he was such a lustful person. Here's your purse. Oh, right. Thank you. Squeeze. Do you mind if I carry it for you? Yuhian, what's with the sudden... It shouldn't be too difficult. Especially since we've gone all the way. It should be pretty easy to present ourselves as a happily married couple in front of those who are determined to bring us down, don't you think? It won't be difficult at all, but... I wonder if I'll be able to keep my feelings out of it. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. I get confused sometimes. Whenever I get close, you seem to look forward to what I'm going to do next. Perhaps there's already a whirlwind of emotions brewing deep within my heart. And it feels real. Lean. Mm. <sighs> if someone were to see us right now, they'd realize how intimate our late relationship is. Glance. You know, right? That you're the one who always initiates things. To be continued. Okay. Yeah. That was hot. But I feel like he's kind of... <sighs> it seems like she enjoys it. Yeah. But he, he seems kind of creepy in a way. But his brother is creepier. Why would you touch her wrist like that? That's gross. So, and from his stepmom, it's not even his real mom. She's an ass. And I hope she doesn't try to bully our girl. I feel like he'll take care of it if she tries to, but... Wow. <laughs> All right, onward to episode eight. Why don't you move back in with us now? <clears throat> How rude. Are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm okay. Listen, were you planning to simply enjoy the privileges of being the daughter in law of a Chibble family? Come see me tomorrow morning after Yu Hyun goes to work. There's a lot for you to learn around here, including our family affairs. Quiet. You're making Ajay feel uncomfortable. I'm worried it'll upset her stomach. So we're going to get going now. What? Flinch. You, Hyun? 
What if you force yourself to eat and then become sick? You have to be careful now that you're eating for two. Hmm? The seductive wife. What? She's pregnant? Your doctor advised caution since you're still early in the pregnancy, remember? I had intended to share the news when father could be here, but I suppose you all know now. Ajay is in her first trimester. If you are thinking of bossing her around the house, then stop. Squeeze. How are you going to cover up this lie, Yu Hyun? Take my hand and try to stand up. Are you looking down on me because I'm the mistress? Girl, he just don't like you, period. <laughs> Sit back down! I'm afraid we can't. You must have no respect for me at all. How dare you behave this way once your father returns? He's not back yet, is he? What? He's not here right now. We're the only ones present. Glare. As it so happens. I won't forget the way you humiliated me today. Do you still feel insecure? It's been years. <laughs> Do you still feel insecure? It's been years since you stole my mother's place. But then again, another woman might come and take your spot. <laughs> I get why you're nervous. Guarded well. You never know when or how it might be taken from you. Bastard! Mom, your blood pressure might spike. Calm down. Let's go. Grab. All right. Glance. Why did you tell them those things, Yu Hyun? I can't believe you said I was pregnant. Are you upset? My feelings aren't important right now. This issue is beyond our control. Blink. In my defense, I needed a little something. To make them feel uneasy. I'll make sure this doesn't bother you in any way. And now with this excuse, that woman won't be able to boss you around. Yu Hyun seemed sad as he calmly explained his reasoning to me. I don't mind dealing with an overbearing mother-in-law. I wish you had given me a heads up about your plan. I was so flustered that I didn't know what to do. I'll do that next time if I think of another plan. I was acting I was acting on impulse tonight, so I didn't have time to ask for your consent. He was acting on impulse? Like I said, I just need you to follow my lead. Even though I don't consider that woman family, I didn't want to put you in a position where you'd have to do as she says. I wanted to pre prevent that from happening since she's the kind of person that will strike as soon as she sees an opening. You did well today. Thank you. Nod. You too, Yu Hyun. 
a few days later at the secretary's office of the executive vice president. Um, Mr. Du. Yes, Miss Hong? Does Mr. Kim take care of all of this by himself? Technically, he does everything by himself. How does he do all this alone? <gasps> does he have time to eat or sleep? By the way, you don't have to be so formal with me, Mr. Du. You can just call me Ajay. I can't do that. You're my boss's wife. It wouldn't be right. You knew? It would be strange if I didn't. I assumed you didn't know because you didn't say anything. It's weird when I think about it, Glance. Mr. Du said... Yu Hian is very distrusting of others. I get that he was in a rush to find a replacement, but I wonder why he chose a complete stranger like me. I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but the reason why Mr. Kim wants you to be by his side is because... Juan. Yes, Mr. Kim. It seems like you have a lot of time on your hands. D do you need me to do something? Please come to my office, Ajay. Dash. Yes, Mr. Kim. You and Ju Huan seem to have grown close in just a few days. Fidget. Oh. There's a lot I don't know yet, so Mr. Doe has been helping me. And how are you liking your new role? Oh, I'm realizing that my scope of responsibilities is quite broad. I find it interesting from a learning perspective, but I don't want to become a burden to the team. While I commend your eagerness to learn. Is there anyone here who is more knowledgeable than me about my work? Blank. Sorry? What I mean is, I can teach you better than Ju Huan. Oh, I'll come to you if there's something Mr. Doe doesn't know. <sighs> you have your husband right here. I'm telling you to use me when you need to. Oh, but you said to, we should keep things professional. That's for when we're around other people. It's hard to switch back and forth due to force of habit. I believe my role is to be your secretary during working hours and your wife the rest of the time. I thought it'd be easy. I thought I'd feel better if I kept you by my side, but it's actually quite stressful. What do you mean? I can't stop thinking about that night. Every time I see you, I'm reminded of what we did and when we lock our eyes. I get so aroused, just like now. Think about it. 
you find me uncomfortable but you seem totally fine around other another man no husband would be happy about that I don't find you uncomfortable you Hyun. grip I just wanted to be of help to you since I'm here as your secretary now Which is why I've been trying to quickly learn the ropes, not befriend Mr. Du. You want to be of help? Nod. In any way possible? Yes, in any way possible. Why isn't he saying anything? Can I leave now? Bow. I should get back to work. I'm thinking of stopping by my mother's house tonight, my biological mother. Can you come with me? Not as my secretary, but as my wife. To be continued. Okay, so boy is whipped okay like one time and he's in love i feel like there's more to it why he chose her like i know they gave us a little bit of insight um from his perspective when she kept showing up and trying to ask him for uh to give her some time but i think there's more to it than him just feeling like he's like he's attracted to her and just sleeping with her. I don't know. You know, some some men just get pussy whipped. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that lady is definitely not his real mom. I wonder if that would make sense, though, if that lady is that lady even really Ajay's mom. I thought she was. They didn't give any indication that she wasn't. If she's her real mom, she's super evil. But if she's a stepmom, I can understand her being. I can't really understand her being mean to her because she is a child. But she just falls into the trope of the evil stepmom. I just think it'd be more diabolical if she was her birth mom, like her biological mom. Whereas if she was her stepmom, I'm like, you don't have to be mean. You raised her like your own child. Why are you treating her like crap? But anyways, okay. We're going to go on to episode nine. Yu Han's mother used to live in the main family home, but was forced to move out when he left for Germany. I haven't seen her since the wedding. It's been a year. I feel bad that she was kicked out of her home. I can't imagine what Yu Hyun must be feeling. Let's go inside. The seductive wife. Wait. Your mother doesn't know we have a contract marriage, does she? She does, but she thinks we're madly in love right now. What? She believes we left for Europe right after the wedding and told me to be good to you. And I said, and I think I said, okay. Hmm. How did that lead to us being madly in love? <laughs> right. <laughs> She's a very shy person, so you won't have to talk to her for long. But she's upset that I came back since... But she's upset that I haven't come to see her since returning to Korea. Let's cheer her up a bit and head home. Oh. I wish I'd gotten her a small present. I didn't think this through. Yu Hyun. 
You yawn. Hug. This feels totally different from the time we went to visit the main family home. Oh. Hello, dear. The drive must have been so long. No, not at all. Welcome. Pull. You haven't had dinner yet, right? I prepared a few dishes for you and Yuhian. Come now, let's go to the dining room. Squeeze. She's so, so graceful and kind. Ah. Uh, I hope the food tastes all right. You did all this yourself? Yes, I haven't seen my dear Yu Hyun in so long, and this is my first time seeing you since the wedding, too. I can tell how much love and care she put into these dishes. Nom. I haven't felt this kind of warmth in a long time. It's making me choke up. Your father is still away on business, right? Yes. <sighs> you must miss him a lot. I wonder why he never visited you in Germany. Mother. Do you still miss father even after everything he did to you? Flinch. I don't. Spring. He on. I'm gonna go now that I've seen your face. Teary. Wait, since you've come all this way, why don't you stay for a night? No, I. That sounds like a good idea. You're okay with staying the night? Yes, I'd like it be a shame to leave so early. We haven't even seen your mother in a year. Don't be ridic. Would that be all right? Let's sleep here tonight and leave early in the morning so that we're not late for work. I have one singular goal tonight, to ease his mother's loneliness. But, why did you tell mother we'd stay the night? And share a room at that. Grown. I know. I didn't mean anything else by it. Your intentions are as clear as day. Pull. Pull. What intentions? They're pretty obvious. If you wanted to spend the night with me, you could have just asked. Lean. What are you? Why did you feel me out? When you know I can't say no to you. He, he's too close. I think there's been a misunderstanding, you, Yan. I wasn't trying to feel you out. You weren't? Then why did you make that suggestion? I'm sure you knew this was going to happen. Because. I know it was presumptuous of me, but. This is why I can't keep my eyes off of you. Because if I look away for even a second, you go ahead and do something unexpected. Squeeze. 
Or are you closing your eyes? What are you expecting? Oh, I thought we were going to kiss. Blush. Can we? Ajay. You should stop being so sexy. It's dangerous. Squeeze. Are you okay doing it here? I mean, I don't mind. Oh, right. We're at his mother's place. Yuhian, I forgot that we're at your mother's house. Pop. You're the one who suggested we spend the night here. And also the one who seduced me. But now you want to stop? Grip. Flinch. Ah! Are you like this with other men too? Do you really you react to the slightest touch and get turned on? Shake. Tremble. Mm hmm. How did you take care of your needs when I was living abroad? Huh. Well. By yourself? From now on, tell me if you want me. Ah! Lift. You now have a husband you can use right by your side. Mm. And my body only reacts to you. You, Hyun. Open your mouth and don't bite down on your tongue. Hmm. You, you, Hyun. What if I make too much noise? Ha. Hmm. Ha. Then should we stop? Is that what you want? It doesn't make sense for us to simply go to sleep holding hands. Answer me, Ajay. Should I stop? This is why I like you. You're honest and naughty. To be continued. <laughs> Doing it in his mom's house while she's right there. Okay, I see y'all. They are acting like newlyweds. <laughs> so, okay. Um... This is happening, yes, but they're both of sound mind, so please go have fun, you crazy kids. <laughs> um, I hope his mom doesn't want to get back with the dad after everything, um, because he let his mistress kick her out. Like, does he know? Does the dad know she's not in the house? He's been abroad. I thought her dad was sick. Are they acting like he's sick or are they acting like he's abroad working and everybody knows he's sick or is he using that as an excuse to stay with Ajay? Or is he like not as sick as they say he is, you know, that's what I want to know. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention, I think that was very sweet of him to pay for her dad's hospital bills. And I think he did that after he probably did it after he found out like how her family is financially abusing her. 
um, because her mom is a piece of shit. We don't know if she's that was an assumption. I don't we don't know if that's his her stepmom. I feel like I just feel like a biological parent wouldn't be that mean, but we know that it happens. But I don't know. Um, it's getting hot and heavy and I cannot wait. We are actually caught up with the comic. After this video, I'm going to be doing a reaction to the trailer and going over the cast of my demon. And then I'm going to be getting into the reaction videos for that. So I'll be doing that. And when we get to up to three episodes in my seductive wife, then there'll be a video for that. Yeah. Let me know if you like the sounds um, and then uh, the, uh, the sounds and me trying to change the voices so all the characters don't have the same voice uh, as much as I can. I'm not a voice actor. Yeah. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you know other people that would be interested in the video, don't forget to share. <laughs> and I will be back next Wednesday. Peace. <laughs>